Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to put a beacon on an in-game vehicle in Farming Simulator 17. So you need two things for this. You need Giants Editor, which you can download from the Giants Developer Network, or you can just Google it. Just Google it, you'll be able to find it. The latest version is 7.0.5, that's what I'm using. And you'll also need this FS17 Beacons Pack. So this FS17 Beacons Pack is a little pack that I put together. Everything you need to put a beacon on a mod, as all the shaders, all the lights, all the IPD files, and even the code that you need to copy and paste out of there, put it in your mod. But I'll show you how to do all that. So the first thing you want to do if you want to make a vehicle, if you want to put a beacon on an in-game vehicle, is open the Giants Editor. So you got it open here, then you go to File, New Mod from Game. Right now we're going to put it on a on the Buffalo. So find that, where is it? Buffalo, okay. Working directory. This is just where the mod is going to be saved. So I'm just going to change it to desktop for now. Desktop, the new folder, I don't know. On Z underscore Buffalo edit. Since we're going to edit it, select folder. There we go. Overwrite. So here's our on the bubble. Now let's say I want to put a beacon on the roof. So what we need to do now is save this. And we can minimize this and take this FS17 beacons folder, copy that, and paste it here. So now we go back to Giants Editor. We go to hit File, Import, Desktop. Yeah, okay. So we're in this folder. We go to F17 Beacons and Beacon Light 01. So here's our beacon. So what we want to do is cut that, then click over, click over here, paste it in there. So it's actually a part of the mod. So now you have it like this. And you want to move it. So you gotta use these arrows. Drag it over here. Get it from the top. That looks pretty pretty good for just eyeballing it, I think. It's really good for just eyeballing it. But so let's just slide it down. Something like that. Let's move it more towards. If you ever wanna, if you ever click away and you wanna select it again, just click on this part. That'll bring it. It'll move everything together. That looks pretty good like that. It's a little slanted, but that's okay. So once you have that placed, you can go ahead and save it. Okay, we're done in here. We're done doing anything in here, but we will need to come back here, and look for this. So. Minimize that. You go into your folder. Next, you find your XML, which is should be the mod title, which is in this case is Ponzi Buffalo. So you open this set and no bad plus plus. And you go down where it says lights. There's lights right here. If you want to go up to lights, do that, and you want to open the file. In FS17 beacons, it says beacon code. So you want to copy this, paste it right here. Actually, it's just proper formatting, it should be like that. So in the beacon light index, you get this. The values need to change this right here and this. But in this case, actually it should be like this. You don't need to change that. I will fix that in the folder. This is what it will say. And then you need to change this value. So the index of this beacon, if you go over here, click on the beacon, you can see index path is 0 is greater than 18. That's what we need to put. So let's copy that. 
now we need to paste in here. We'll just type it in here. Zero is greater than 19. That's it for here. If you wanted to put other beacons on it, do the same thing. Just copy and paste this line. Put it below there. Then you can change this value to whatever. It would probably be 19. We put another beacon below it in the scene graph. And you can do that right here. Control V or V, then paste another one in here. See, we get another one. It's right. It should be 19 right there. So actually, we could put two on here just for fun. Let me put the other one. I don't know. It'll look stupid if we put them anywhere else. So let's just put them side by side. Put that like that. So we can save that. This is showing you can do two. So this other thing is zero is greater than nineteen, zero is greater than eighteen. Nineteen. Let's save that. And that's pretty much all you need to do for putting a beacon on a mod. So all you need to do now is save the file. Close Notepad plus plus, and then you can close this, and then put your mod in your mods folder.